Hi, welcome back to Make It Hacking. I'm Andrew, and today we are going to do a find, all right? So a find is when we find something cool and we can make it hacking or, you know, whatever. Um, so one of the things that I wanted to build for a long time is a fume exhauster for a soldering iron. Um, and they're kind of expensive. If you look online, they're, you know, probably a couple hundred bucks at least. Um, and I didn't want to pay that much money. Usually I just have been using a fan or sometimes I would just do it myself and blow the, the fumes away. But I wanted to see about getting something specific for fumes. Uh, I saw a hack that somebody did where they did like an Altoid can. It was sort of cheap, but you have to get really small into it and whatever. But found something. So I went to an estate sale today and found this. And I saw this and I was like, what is this? And it was funny because in the in the state cell in the house, they had, it was mostly old furniture, that sort of thing. But there was one room that I actually joked about it being the hacking room because it had like sort of all the electronics in it. And when I say all the electronics, I mean, it had a couple phones and this and maybe a lamp or something. Um, but I saw this and I was like, what is this thing? And I looked down inside and let's get the overhead shot. Can you see that? See up front, it's a fan, right? And I was like, oh, oh man. Cause I was thinking about buying a computer desktop fan that will go inside the uh, chassis to use as uh, for my fumes. Um, Cause it's quiet and that sort of thing. But I saw this and I was like, what is this thing? And I looked at the bottom, <laughs> it's a filter. It's like, what is it? And it had a little uh, label on the front that said air filter. I was like, oh man, wow. So, and I saw it had off and on switch, awesome, made by Sears, probably made in America, because this thing is definitely 70s looking. Everything in that house looked like it was bought in the 70s. Um, so it's got this filter on the back. Now, it doesn't look like it's a charcoal filter, um, so I might try and put in some other sort of thing in there. But if you unscrew it, you can take it off. And there's actually these little beads in there. If you can see that on the overhead. Uh, and I was like, what are those beads? Are those like... To, is, that, is that part of the filter or something? But if you look on the this little ring right here, it says more scent lid off. It's like more scent lid off, what? So if you pull this off and you smell it, you can actually smell it's like a, uh, you know, some sort of scent. Um, so this thing, I'm pretty sure is like an air purifier. It's taking in uh, air from the bottom and it's blowing it out the top and giving you this nice scent. Um, so I don't really want to take this apart, <laughs> um, because, uh, it works and that sort of thing. Um, but you know, maybe, maybe another video I can open it up. Um, but so I'm going to test this today to see how well it works as to exhaust fumes. Um, now I'm also excited today because this is the first time I'm going to be using my Weller soldering iron. I just got this, I didn't do an unboxing of it. It's a WES-51, which is your analog Weller station. So let's put this back in. We're gonna plug it in. Ah, maybe the other way, all right. And let's just turn it on, see kind of what it looks like, right? So it's not loud. It's not the most quiet thing in the world, but I'm sure you can hear that. It's not very loud. It's definitely, um, it's not gonna hurt me. Like, you know, it's not gonna hurt my ears or anything. So it definitely blows out the top. I can't really feel a sucking feeling at the bottom, but you know, who knows? Uh, we'll have to see what the smoke does with the soldering iron. So I'm gonna lay this just like this. And um, I'm using the circuit board holder, which I did an unboxing and review of in another video. So check that out. Um, we'll be doing this. And I'm going to be soldering some wire. Just as like a test. Should probably get this near the exhaust. So I might actually prop this up. Let's see. 
There you go. All right, um, it's my first time using my sponge, so I'm just gonna wet a little bit. And I only wet my sponges for soldering with bottled water. Just kidding, uh, it's just gonna have it here. So, here we go. Doo -doo. All right, let's do this. Hopefully I got a lot of smoke so you can see what's going on here. It is, it is working. Um, I don't think it's the most powerful thing in the world, but it's working. Can you check that out? Actually, I'm just going to put some solder over here. Awesome, check that out. I'm trying to look on the back. I don't see any smoke coming out the back, so that means that filter is doing a pretty good job. It's doing a pretty decent job. Oh, I should probably mention how much I pay for this thing. $1.75. Pretty awesome. All right. So you can see it kind of works okay. Um, just checking for smoke at the back. I don't see any smoke at the back. All right. One more thing that I want to check is if I take the filter off, how does it change? Right. One thing that I noticed right away is it got louder okay so i'm not sure if you heard that on camera let me try and point it towards the microphone okay with filter without okay so it's a little bit higher noise which means that i'm probably going to get more suction so this thing's probably going to be freaking awesome all right let's give it a try and ideally you would want some charcoal in there to help because otherwise the smoke's just going to pass through here and you're not really uh, trapping it, you're just pushing it somewhere else. But um, maybe if I just got a thin piece of charcoal filter, I can put it over there. But we'll see. Oh yeah, it is like getting sucked up in there super nice. It is quick too. It is like going right in there. Oh man. Do you know how excited I am right now? This is so sweet. And I can't see any smoke out the back. And that's just probably because it's distributing it. Like, there's a fine stream on this side, and then on the other side, it's sort of distributing it. So it's not, it's not so visible. Um, but that is pretty freaking sweet. Heck yeah. I will definitely be using this when I solder. Um, I'm going to probably change up this filter. Or There's all these air purifying beads in there uh, for scent. So I might see if I can even open it up and just take out the beads and maybe put the charcoal in like that. Um, so if I can do that, and actually I'll make this a hacking video, um, I'm going to try and hack this thing right here to get the... Uh, to get the charcoal in there and get these beads out and then at the same time I'll go ahead and open this up um, just so we can take a look at it. But there you go, that is your $2 fume extractor. Um, again, this isn't going to be rated uh, you know, probably for use anywhere, um, but as a hobbyist, uh, definitely something that's really awesome. Um, yeah, it's a little loud, um, I can still smell the smoke. Um, that's probably just from burning my uh, circuit board. Great circuit board holder. Um, I like it very much. And I did an unboxing video, so I'll link that below so you can see that. So 
Yeah, so if you're looking for a fume extractor, um, you might not just get lucky and find an air purifier everywhere, especially a desktop one, right? Because you don't want to use like a huge tower size air purifier. But hey, maybe something to go look at in a thrift store, right? I can definitely see these being a thrift store. If I saw this in a thrift store, I don't even know if I would have, you know, recognized it, that sort of thing. But um, yeah, this is a great find. Air purifier, fume extractor for hobbyists. Awesome. Can't wait to uh, use it. And yeah, the Weller. This is my first time using my Weller soldering iron. So that went great. All right, so please comment, like, and subscribe below. Let us know, do you have a fume extractor? What kind do you have? Or did you hack something together? If you made your own, please paste a link below. I'd love to check it out as well as uh, show it off. I think this is pretty awesome. Uh, we'll have to do a hack so I can get the beads out of here and put charcoal in. Um, hopefully get a better airflow because with it, it was okay. Without it, it was awesome. All right, well, that's it for this video on Make It Hacking. Thank you for stopping by. This was an awesome find. Hopefully more to come and we'll see you in the next video. All right, let's make it hacking.